Welcome to Cocos 2D Tutorials, brought to you by Bob Uland. For more information, go to bobuland.com slash cocos2d. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to detect a touch on the iPhone screen. We are inside Xcode in the Hello World layer. Here is the Hello World text. Let's get rid of that. Run. And here is our window. We want to detect touches inside this window. Since it is black, we have difficulty to see where the edges are, so let's change this background to a grey background. We can go to the interface, change this to CC layer color, and here we change to init with color. CC4, let's take a grey value and the opacity is 255, let's test this. Ok, now we see the edges exactly. So, we want to detect a touch. Since we are inside the layer, Let's go to the documentation and find our CC layer. Here we have it. If you look here, you see something called CC Standard Touch Delegate. Inside here, we see four public member functions. CC Touches Began, Moved, Ended, Cancelled. Now this is the callback functions and Cocos 2D will send these messages directly to our layer. Let's go back to CC layer and see that we have a property called is touch enabled and touch is touch enabled decides whether or not the layer will receive touch events. You can enable disable touch events with this property. So we have to set this property to yes in order to receive the touch messages. So let's go back and write self dot is touch enabled equals yes. Now we can trap the touch events. Let's begin with CC touches began. CC touches began. As we can see here, we have two parameters we are getting a set of touches and an event. We need to extract one touch event from this. And how do we do that? Let's option click, look at clause reference, go to tasks, accessing set members. Here we have a method called any object, which returns one of the objects in the set. Okay, so let's use that one. UE touch, let's call it something, for instance, touch, and we use touches any object. Now we want a location. Let's option click on UI touch, go to class reference. 
go to tasks and here is a method called location in view observe also that we have a property called view this will be a parameter that we need inside this function as you can see here observe that this method returns a CG point so let's go back and write CG point let's call it something for instance look equals touch location in view and the view was touch view let's log this and see what we got a touch percentage G percentage G location.x and location.y let's run this and if we touch somewhere in the lower left corner we got true 4 so we would expect to have something like 480 320 here but we don't get it the x coordinate should be close to 480 not the y coordinate so something fishy is going on here what could that be if we go to documentation look at CC director we will observe that we have a method called convert to GL converts a UI kit coordinate to an open GL coordinate so we have our UI kit coordinate and we must convert it to open GL coordinate then we have to use this method so let's use it location cc director share director that's our director object convert to GL and the point is location like this now let's log this and see if it is any difference okay here we see already that it has flipped x and y coordinates and here we get exactly as we want it so when we are after the location of a touch we should perform these three lines okay let's also take a cc touch is moved we just change began to moved and let's also change this to move so that we can distinguish those two And if we click and drag, we see that it works. Okay, thank you for watching.